Hi, my name is Mike Johnson and I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2014 Forest River Solera on the Mercedes-Benz diesel Sprinter chassis. This is actually a C-Class motorhome with two slide outs. You have a left side slide out and a rear bedroom slide out. It's got a lot of things going for it, starting out that this is only 24 feet long, but it gives a capacity advantage having two slide outs and things like that. It's a modern technology motorhome. Uh, it's got the frame, they call them frameless windows. It has a window frame, but it's a flush mount window, so you get less aerodynamic effects and less wind noise theoretically it's got a fully automatic power awning it's a very large awning for a c-class 24 foot motorhome this is about as big as you can get for an awning because it goes all the way from the rear to the front and this is a full body paint motorhome so uh, some of these just are the fiberglass but this is the much more expensive uh, detailed full body paint and it's in excellent condition it's detailed and waxed and it's on the Mercedes diesel chassis so with the Mercedes Benz chassis if you think of motorhomes like laptops and desktop computers um, you go buy the desktop, it's a big old box and it's not as expensive as if you buy the laptop. This is the laptop version. So it has a lot of capability with it. Got a full restroom and shower. It's got an onboard generator. It's diesel engine so the generator runs on propane. Um, it's got uh, black tank flush. The tires on it are almost uh, brand new. So you've got a uh, sewer flush, you've got uh, electrical PowerPoint, you've got city water connection. It's even got a city water a spray hose so you can use water outside the coach. It's got massive storage. So got these easy to use latch storage latches. And if I put my camera in the right mode, it's eight foot deep storage. Goes all the way across. It's huge storage here. It's actually bigger storage than most uh, A-Class have on the back here, which is very, very cool. And you have a side and rear entry. So it's full pass-through in all different directions. So if you put your stuff in here, you have easy access to it. It does have a towing package right here, the V5 towing package. It's got awnings over the slide out. I'm starting out with the outside tour and then I'll go on to the inside. I'm gonna use my camera to show you the roof because uh, there is no roof access ladder. And there's a couple advantages with this motorhome. It's only a 24 foot, so you don't really need to go up on the roof, but I'm gonna show it to you with this uh, extension pole. So as I we take a look at the roof, you'll see this as a roof is in great condition. And you notice those bumps up there, those are max air vent covers, which I pointed right at. Those are nice because when you have the Santa Ana high speed winds blowing, or you're driving down the road, you can leave your uh, vent covers open. Uh, and you don't have to worry about rain coming in. Those max air vent covers are really good and they're the black ones, so they match. You've got the black fabric awning covers. All the paint is in great condition. And the awnings itself is in uh, great condition, the fabric and everything. So, got to explain a couple things about this. So this model is the 24R, it's a 2014, and this is a front engine diesel, but unlike the like Ford 
chassis diesels this is very quiet so it drives with a less noise than a gas v10 motorhome but it's got more power because you got that turbo diesel in the front so when the turbo diesel is very quiet it's only a three liter diesel but it's a turbocharged mercedes engine so very reliable so this thing probably can go 300,000 miles mercedes benz diesels are noted for long long life and this has the new technology so it has the the blue and if you don't know what blue is uh it's a new technology that lets them use ultra low sulfur it's a blue efficiency so normally you just add gas i'm sorry diesel to the engine when you fuel up but when you take it in for your oil changes the mechanic will add blue if you need to you can add the the blue it's a separate fluid it makes them clean burning diesel so there's less uh emission pollutants which means that this legal to drive uh, when a lot of the older technology diesels make a lot more pollution and sulfur and things like that so kind of hard to explain in a hurry but it's a big advantage and there's a lot of advantages of this motorhome first of all at only 24 foot long where you're driving a lot you just need a restroom handy and a shower handy or you know you're going to national parks and you notice there's no parking for RVs this thing will fit in a parking about the same amount of parking space as a big Ford crew cab dually uh, so you don't need to worry about a trailer you don't need to worry about that this is excellent easy to drive motorhome it does have a big backup camera on the back it's got navigation system it's very clean I want to take a look at the tires here uh, let's look at the front tire tread before we start going to the inside so I'm gonna put my camera in the right mode so I can show you the tire tread almost brand new tires they're Michelin tires <clears throat> it's a very nice motorhome. You have an outside light for your exterior cleanup station. Try not to miss much on the outside. You've got LED tail lights. Your generator exhaust is in the back. So when you're driving down the road, the exhaust is behind you. It's not blowing towards the campground. got additional cargo storage right here easy access on the campground side and all of the storage doors have these uh, latch points so you can attach your um, cargo door in the up position you've got outside you've got a 12 volt TV connection AC power and they did put these uh, bug and plant safety covers over the uh, hot point discharges because you know this is your uh, interior heater discharge and this is your water heater discharge yeah it can take nice hot showers in this motorhome and so you have a hot water uh, heater which is nice big windows um, and then I'm going to be going on to discuss the inside in a minute you do have really excellent stable exterior mirrors one thing about motorhomes even class a's you don't like mirror shake but because this is a sprinter van based chassis you have really good mirrors with dual struts you have exterior turn signals and then all the um window shades are built right into the van so you've got these uh, factory shades right here so uh you just un velcro them and close off for privacy we do have the books and manuals in here. Um, it's pretty nice. Now, we're gonna go on to the inside. My name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call, 951-681-2101. Thank you. This is Mike Johnson taking you on a test drive of this diesel engine powered turbo diesel uh, Mercedes-Benz. It's a very quiet driving vehicle. 
it has outstanding visibility. I can judge my distance to park right here. Next to the curb, I've got nice mirrors with a white convex. It's like parking a car. Park right next to the curb and I can keep my eyes on the mirror. I've got my backup camera view up here, so if I was towing a trailer, I could keep my eye on it. I can put it in reverse and back into a space. There's a little bit of glare because of the double camera. And then I have my front uh, in-dash navigation system here. Automatic transmission, automatic air conditioning. Let's go ahead and drive around the block again. All clear. Hit the gas. It's nice and quiet. Like driving a car. You don't have all that diesel engine noise. Because this modern technology uh, Mercedes-Benz are not like the old ones. Great visibility for making the right turn. Accelerating. Got lots of gears in the transmission, so very fuel efficient diesel but very quiet diesel, plenty of power. I'm gonna go on to the next phase of my video. Mike Johnson, give me so a Let's take a look inside this 24R. Starting, you'll notice we have both slide outs in. I'm gonna demonstrate that you can fully walk through get into the restroom get into the shower with the slides in you can open the refrigerator or the freezer it's nice and clean in here so the slide is in the rear slide is in let's open the rear slide so you can see how it operates. The controls are right here on the side. So just hit the switch and the slide out operates. Moving open and the bed mattress is a custom mattress for this type of configuration. opens up and then you just uh, align your mattress and make your bed you can see the mattress in the rear is in great condition now let's open the front slide out front slide out is closed the slide switch is right up here so we're just gonna open the forward slide out opens right up now the really unique thing about this motorhome is you have the cab over in the bunk on these Mercedes diesel it's kind of hard to find the bunk bed over the front so this mattress flips over and you can sleep two adults up there over the bunk and you've got a access ladder right here that stows nice and neat you can unclip that ladder and hook it up right here to sleep in your bunk area so the nice thing about a forward bunk area is you don't have to mess with this You've got a TV there. This is on a swing arm mount. Swings all the way out. It's a really sturdy, heavy duty swing arm mount. 
so the TV will stay where you put it when you're driving around. This has an in-motion satellite dish up on the roof. Now, we're getting TV channels right here. We're getting channel 7, but this is over-the-air broadcast. I don't have a satellite box in here right now. Uh, just to show you, we're channel. Change it. Channel 5.3, 5.2, 5.1. So we're getting channel 5.1, 4.1. When you're getting over the air digital broadcast, you get HD picture, high definition, and it's just over the air broadcast. It's picking it up off the antenna. You don't have to pay any subscription for this. Both the front and rear TVs pick those up. But if you go into remote areas, it's all set up. It has the wine guard road trip min max in motion satellite dish this is the controls to turn it on and then you can watch tv when you're driving in the middle of the wilderness um you have to have a direct tv subscription and tie it into the output of the antenna for that to operate but it does have it already installed that's like a thousand dollar installation up there so this is your front TV and, and you've got your slides open now this turns into a bed and this has the state-of-the-art dream dinette which I'll show you more in the pictures but it's a simple thing you just release the lever and then push down on the table and the table goes down it's very strong mounting to the wall you lift it up and your table is a table again so if you want to turn this into a bed and sleep one person here maybe two if they're small you can do that one or two people you could fit some adults up here so you're talking about two adults here sorry watching the pursuit on the uh, TV there so two adults can sleep up here, or two kids, or one kid with an ultimate, uh, ultimate amount of space. And then we go to the rear bedroom, and you have this queen unit back here, which is, a, which is kind of a walk around, which is unusual for a 24 foot motorhome. You can walk all the way around, you can get in here, it's nice. You've got the sheets and comforters right here i'm gonna make the bed up nice but i want to show you all that stuff is present even got a uh, storage on the sides here for your wardrobe we're, while we're back here i'll show you the rear tv i've got the remote is up there but uh you got channel changers on the sides here you're picking up right here is channel seven over the air and in the front is a channel four. I've changed the channel. Another wardrobe cabinet right here. So you can hang your hanging clothes. Pull out roller drawers. It goes all the way out. And behind the drawer, you have easy access to your water heater back behind the drawer for winterizing purposes and things like that. You got your your sink, the water is fully operational with no leaks. Storage underneath here and it's nice and clean. It's not lived in in this motorhome. One of the advantages of a motorhome like this is if you're just like driving between cities, going to medical appointments or things like that, or going to visit the grandkids, it makes travel easy because you don't have to stop at every restroom, you know, to. You know, if you want to take a shower, you've got a shower. Everything right here. Let's take a look. You've got a giant sunroof over your dining area, so it's very light. And you have these shades that you can close off to isolate that. you got storage over your dinette. You've got, I notice you've got drink holders up here. You've got privacy curtains you can close off. When you're ready to go to bed, you can isolate the bunk area. If we go up to the front, 
the Mercedes has this factory window shades really really slick the way they've done this as I said outside you're buying the when it comes to motorhomes this is like the laptop uh, computer of motorhomes there's a cubby overhead for you store your documents in the overhead sunglasses holder you got things where you could put an extra curtain up here if you wanted to not use these but these curtains are really slick to close that off up there and you see I got our I'm getting the glare you got the navigation radio you can play your music when you're stopped or you can turn that off it's really slick the way they've done this I've got my air conditioning going we have a generator start stop switch right here so let's start the generator start up it's already started the start light is on how many hours we got we got um, 210 hours 0.7 210 hours on the generator looks like that's your hour meter right there 210.7 hours not too many hours on the generator you got LED lighting in here all these lights medicine cabinet you have little wall switches this is a really big deal to have your switches down here because they're if you have arthritis or something you don't have to reach all the way up you got your wall switches right down here and these are LED so they don't get hot they don't drain the battery very fast and they're really bright state-of-the-art LED lighting again you've got a wall switch right here now this TV in this location has a stand on it it's on this swing arm and it just unclips from the wall and you can take it outside and watch it outside extend the cable and you can use this for your outdoor TV it's really simple slick it's just a, a v-shaped mount and it releases at the top and it unclips and goes outside you got your central thermostat right here fan cool furnace heat pump which is nice this has the premium air conditioning with an electric heat pump I'm gonna explain that on the next part of my video so talking about the heat pump a lot of people don't know what that is air conditioning everybody understands you turn the AC on it gets cold a heat pump is basically kind of an air conditioning that works in reverse it electrically heats the air with um, the air conditioning system kind of running in a reverse sort of method and the advantage in a motorhome is if you're using the heat pump you're not using propane to run the heat and uh, the whole central air system is heating and it's nice it doesn't have the high temperatures of the the furnace and uh, it, it, you don't use any propane so if you're plugged in the campground you're using the campgrounds provided electricity to heat the coach instead of using propane and continuing on that subject you've got your water heater right here which is on the water's hot water heater works you got your water pump on this has arctic pack which <coughs> let's say you go someplace and it's going to get below freezing at night you turn on the arctic pack so your your water system stays thawed out these are your light controls for your galley area lights and then I, I'm, I'm plugged in on external power so I'm going to turn off the generator from right there and you've got a light switch I mentioned there's a light over to the outside on the left rear driver's side rear this is the big light switch that turns that on and off and that's really nice because that's where your hookups are so when you show up in the dark at a campground and you want to hook up your water and electricity you turn this light on and you have an area light so you can see what you're doing out there um, really helpful you've got a rack for storage up here it's got the big RV refrigerator 
it's not a double wide, but you don't need that for a coach this size. Everything you need, most of the RVs I've owned, I've had RVs for the past 10 years since 2007. I drive about 8,000 miles a year myself in various RVs, test driving them and so forth, bringing them in from other states, delivering them. And doing about 8,000 miles a year, I can tell you, this is all I need for uh, refrigeration. If you're gonna have 10 people, yeah, you can always bring a cooler to go along with this and the bag of ice. Now you've got a nice three burner um, cooktop right here with a glass cover, really fancy. You got your three burner cooktop, even got a gas LP propane oven, which is surprising, but you've got the full oven in here. Up here you've got a nice state-of-the-art microwave oven and we're going to talk about that now this is a big deal a lot of motorhomes they just go with a convection oven in order to cook with a microwave you have to either be plugged in or run the generator to have enough power to run the microwave that's on all RVs you can't really run a microwave off an inverter because they use like six or seven hundred watts and inverters don't produce that much electricity normally without really draining the battery so microwaves require being plugged in or they require running the generator so if you're at a campground and you show up and it's 8 15 at night and you want to cook dinner you can't unless you're plugged in but like maybe a national park like uh, Grand Canyon National Park campground if you're in a campsite that doesn't have a hookup that gas oven and gas cooktop is really nice because you can bake in here so you've also got a stainless steel sink a lot of RVs just have a plastic sink but this is an actual stainless steel sink on the faucet it's got the pull out you can do your dishes in here really easy it works really well let's take a look see how clean it is underneath the cabinet it's not all trashed in there it looks like brand new there's not evidence that pots and pans have been scraping all around so this RV is in really great condition how about over here you got your electrical panel right here with your um, circuit breakers uh, pops off and then you've got your AC circuit breakers and your 12 volt fuses right here Snap that back on. If you need more counter space, this wing can come up. Or of course you can use your dinette. Going on to the next features. When we were outside, I showed you those big black things on the roof, those Max Air vent covers. Now you've got fantastic fans here. So if I turn this fan on and I open the ventilator door these are really quiet these are three speed these are the really nice ones so that's high speed medium low and off so you have this fan blowing out and then uh, you've also got a fan in the restroom which you can keep a constant airflow if you open this up you can just leave this open when you're driving, leave it open when it's raining outside. And so if you're doing your business in the restroom, you got fresh air ventilating up and out. And the restroom has its own AC duct. This has fully ducted air conditioning, but it also has a chill grill. And people say, what is a chill grill? So normally you have the chill grill closed and that forces the air conditioning through uh, ducts that are kind of like an H. They're in the roof, they go through and you have the ducts and then it comes out. Same thing for this side and you have a duct in the front. So the air is forced down the ducts. But if you were out and you're hot and you want to cool off really fast, you open this chill grill, blasted with air just stand underneath here and 
blast yourself with air and cool off really fast, you can do that. Um, that's a chill grill. You've got AC and 12 volt outlets all around so you can plug in your little laptop computers and iPad chargers and things like that all around in here. You've got little courtesy lights that you can turn on right there. So you got these little low lights for the entry step and you got one here in the bedroom so you don't have to have anything bright on. You have those little lights on so you don't trip or anything when you're walking around here at night looking for the restroom or whatever else you're looking for. Here. So in the bedroom here you've got your door for privacy here. A pocket door with a magnetic catch. You've got to give it a good tug and it's just held by magnets and it closes off and you have privacy in your bedroom. So I've made the bed here so you can see the bed made. Open the magnetic catch door and lock it in on the side. This is actually a lot easier to use than a lot of other ones where you have latches to worry about. People always ask me how do you turn it into a bed from a dinette? So I'm going to demonstrate. I've taken the cushions, they just held down by Velcro and this is a dream dinette so you just push down and then you stick these rounded one notice there's seat belts for two in these seating positions you put these there and then this one right there this one right there and actually you can do it you can wedge those together and they'll fit in tight and eliminate the gaps so I'm holding the camera so I can't do it but basically uh, let's see if I can do it you put that there you put that there and then you've got a hump in the middle you push down and now it's a bed. You now if somebody's laying on there it'll go flat and then you make it with the sheets and you can sleep people there. Now it's perfect for a kid, a grandkid. Let's see how I fit on here. I'm 5'11". So I can fit on here diagonally but my feet hang over the side so it's not exactly for a six foot tall person but if you have some grandkids or younger kids they would fit there no problem and you can sleep in that position if you have tall people you put them in the overhead bunk so definitely give me a call my name is Mike Johnson 951-681-2101 let's conclude by taking a look at the engine and take a peek underneath so you got your Mercedes turbo diesel there's not much that you have to do up here it's real simple it's a diesel engine the air filter looks good you can see that and uh, it's a nice quiet engine there's not a whole lot to worry about up here don't see any problems you got sidestep running boards it makes it easy you got a keyless entry remote control I'm gonna get down underneath and take a look this is your power cable it does have a power cable with it so the power cable plugs in and twists on the outside and then that covers it off I have it plugged in right here on a 30 amp power feed so let's go underneath and have a peek under there see what it looks like first thing you'll notice is you have a full-size spare tire under here with brand new tread it has never been used take a look at the differential looks good there's no leaks under here nice big mud guards you got your towing package right here your big uh, tow packages right here got your generator no 
leaks from the bottom of the generator. I mentioned all your tires are like brand new. All six. So tires you won't have to worry about. You've got an automatic power step. Your side step running boards, your mud guards. Let's look under the engine, see if there's any leaks. Don't see any leaks. It's nice and dry under here. It's Mercedes quality. I don't see any loose things or anything to worry about. There's no damage on this motorhome underneath here. Nice and clean. No leaks. Again, my name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call, 951-681-2101. Thank you.